the one in Baltimore County DNA from a former priest whose remains were exhumed does not match evidence from the murder scene of sister Catherine Ann Cessna. Now, police found no DNA from that scene belonging to the priest, Father Joseph Maskell. Police have been trying to solve the nun's murder now for nearly 50 years. On February 28th, they exhumed Father Maskell's body. Police now say their best hope for solving the case lies with people who may be willing to come forward with more information about the murder. Sister Sesnick's body was found in the Lansdowne area back in January of 1970, several months after she disappeared. She was last seen at her apartment in southwest Baltimore, leaving to run errands in the Edmondson Village area. We've got a fact sheet put up by Baltimore County Police about the case on our website, abc2news.com. But this is a story that people have been talking about for decades, people who knew Sister Sesnick and some investigators believe that Father Maskell may have had something to do with her death. Sister Kathy's case is the subject of the upcoming Netflix documentary, The Keepers, which drops all seven episodes tomorrow uh, overnight. It happens at 3 o'clock in the morning, our time. They're all going to come down. I sat down with the documentary's director, Ryan White. We've got some portions of that interview already on our website, abc2news.com. You can hear why White felt it was important to include the graphic descriptions recounted by the victims who were students of Archbishop Keogh High School back in the 60s. And the, the really the series rises and falls on whether you believe these women or not um, because for many many years they either held their stories in or when they told people they weren't necessarily believed mm -hmm. and so the thing with this documentary is that you get a number of different women recounting very similar instances that don't know each other right. and so as they come across they are very believable we have a soundbite from the director about that portion as well he says look if you don't listen if you don't believe these women watch the documentary and see what you think afterwards. I thought it was interesting. He said he took that, uh, the name, the keepers from one of the women, right? That he spoke with right. and she said, that's what we called ourselves. And I thought that it meant that the people who were keeping the secret about it, like in, in his mind, the church and the police and people who hadn't solved the case. But, and he said, it is sort of that, but it's also from that woman who thought, um, we're the ones keeping the secret. Right. We're the victims, and that's so. It's just got a dual meaning. That they, it's very interesting. And I know we don't have much time, but do we know why why this case in particular grabbed his attention? He saw an article that the city paper had written back in 2004 about this case because they went and dug out, dug it up again. Um, there was some movement on it back in the 90s when two women came forward as Jane Doe and Jane Rowe uh, making these accusations against Father Maskell, but that never went anywhere. So the case pops up here and there, and he saw it when it popped up in 04 and when it started interviewing these people. Been working on it three years. Wow. Yep. Well, those, you know, the crime documentaries are so fascinating, but to have it be here, um, be interesting you know, to see how out it, of Baltimore. Right, what the impact is. It's really interesting. So it drops tomorrow. Yep.